99% of my life has been spent living in a big city and I must say that it's where I feel most at home. The city offers endless amenities from high-speed internet access to food delivery services and easy transportation that make my life convenient and comfortable. But there's a part of me that feels an irresistible pull towards the mountains. Perhaps it's because the mountains offer a sense of adventure that you can't have in the city. Or maybe it's because I yearn for a break from the monotony of everyday life and the comfort that comes with it. Although this tiny piece of my life may seem insignificant, it actually holds a great deal of importance to me. It has taught me more valuable lessons than my experiences living in the hectic of the big city. But let's start from the beginning. In the middle of May this year, my friend Thomas and I began our journey to climb Mount Kaspik, one of Georgia's most iconic mountains. We were both aware of the challenges that lay ahead. With an altitude of 5000 meters, the climb was going to be difficult. But we felt confident as we had previously climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, which stands at 6000 meters. However, as we started climbing, we noticed a significant difference. Unlike Kilimanjaro, we didn't have any porters to carry our load. With over 20 kilograms of luggage and equipment on our shoulders, we quickly realized that this would be our biggest challenge. The weight was taking a toll on us and was getting harder with each step we took. Reaching an altitude of 2,500 meters, we crossed the freezing point. From that point on, deep snow made every step even harder. Even with snowshoes, we had to push ourselves harder than ever before. The climb to the base camp took us almost twice as long as planned. And here we learned our first big lesson. Only carry as much as you can handle. In our modern lives we have a tendency to accumulate more and more possessions. We often equate better technology with better performance. However, in the end having too much stuff can actually slow us down. Instead of being a help, it can become a handicap. Bitlimi Hut, located at an altitude of 3,700 meters, has been serving as the base camp for climbing Mount Kaspik since 1931. For nearly a century, the hut has been home to mountaineers from around the world who come to conquer the peak of one of Georgia's most iconic mountains. Despite its long history, the hut has not seen many changes over the years. Basic amenities like running water, heating and a comfortable mattress became luxury items. The harsh conditions at such a high altitude can be overwhelming. The freezing temperatures, high winds and the lack of oxygen are challenging. However, despite the discomfort, the hut served as a reminder of the true essence of mountaineering. It taught us that the journey is just as important as reaching the summit. The experience of pushing ourselves beyond our limits of overcoming the obstacles thrown our way and of working as a team to achieve our goal was truly priceless. We spent another two days at the hut until the weather, but also our bodies felt capable of attempting to reach the summit. We were reminded that the nature has its own pace, one that is not dictated by our steady demand for more efficiency in modern life. In the mountains, time seems to stand still and we were forced to slow down and appreciate the world around us. The mountains taught us a valuable lesson about the importance of taking a step back from our busy lives and reconnecting with nature as well with our bodies. Altitude affects everybody differently and we cannot force our bodies to adapt to it. We have to give our bodies the time they need to adjust. On the third day we started our attempt to reach the summit at 4 in the morning. The sky was crystal clear but the wind was significantly stronger than predicted. Nevertheless, we had to try. Step by step we ascended higher and higher. The views were breathtaking and motivated us to push further. After more than four hours we finally reached the plateau. From here we only had a steep 500 meter climb left to the summit. We could feel how the strong winds have already drained our energy levels. We climbed for another hour and only had 300 meters left to the summit. But we felt completely exhausted and had to make a decision. 
Ultimately, we turned back, which turned out to be a wise decision. After more than 11 hours of hiking, we arrived back at the base camp, completely depleted. We knew we had no reserves left. This was yet another important lesson. In the mountains, you cannot call an Uber or a taxi to pick you up. You need to know exactly where your limits lie and accept them, or else you won't have the energy to make it back. Have you been disappointed? Yes, definitely. However, we are still super happy about this valuable experience.